Many people call Alaska the last American wilderness. What do they mean? Well, they mean that Alaska has some of the last wild places in America. Alaska has a lot of open space. People haven't built towns, cities, or highways everywhere. Many wild animals live in Alaska without being bothered by humans, because not as many people live in Alaska. Alaska is bigger than any other state in the United States. But there are only two states in the United States that have fewer people than Alaska. Why? Don't people like it there? Part of the reason for Alaska's low population is its environment. Alaska has a very cold climate and a rough terrain. Much of Alaska is considered Arctic tundra, a frozen place without trees. But there are also parts of Alaska that have a lot of trees, right? Yes, and in those places lives all kinds of wildlife. One of my favorites is the wolf. Alaska is home to, to an estimated 11,200 wolves. That's a whole lot of wolves. Hunting, trapping, diseases, poor diet, and ancients, ancient sex. Accidents keep the wolf population from getting too large. Wolves are carnivores. They like to eat moose, caribou, and sometimes sheep. They also eat smaller animals during the summer. Can a wolf kill a great big moose? Yes, but usually a whole pack of wolves will hunt and work, work together to kill a large animal like a moose. Also, the wolves usually hunt the old, sick, or very young moose that are easier to kill. makes sense because a moose is the largest member of the deer family. A male, a male moose can weigh between 1,200 and 1,600 pounds. Female moose are, usually, are smaller. Usually they weigh between 800 to 1,300 pounds. A moose is a herbivore. It will eat all kinds of plants. Its favorites are willow, birch, and aspen tree twigs. What about bears? Alaska is well known for being bear country. There are generally three types of bears in Alaska. Black bear, brown bear, and polar bear. The black bear is found in the most of the forested parts of Alaska. Black bears are also the smallest of the three types of bears found in Alaska. Adult black bears are about two feet tall at their shoulders and what Oh, adult black bears are about two feet tall at their shoulders when they stand on all four legs. They are usually about five feet long from the tip of their noses to the end of their tails. And the black bear's tail is only about oh, two inches long. Male black bears are usually bigger than females, but a male black bear weighs only 180 to 200 pounds. Black bears are omnivores. They eat both plants and meat. Also, black bears are not just black. They come in many colors. What about brown bears? Brown bears are bigger than black bears. An adult male brown bear or grizzly bear usually weighs between 500 and 900 pounds. Some very big males weigh as much as 1,400 pounds, but that's not usual. Brown bears or grizzly bears are also omnivores. They will eat just about anything, but they love meat. Let's finish with the third type of bear, the polar bear. The polar bear is just about the same size as every large brown or grizzly bear. Polar bears are white. They are carnivores, although if nothing else is available, they will eat plants to survive. One of their favorite foods is seal, which is why they live by sea ice. Wow, so far we've named the wolf, the moose, black bear, brown bear, and polar bear. All of these animals live in Alaska. Maybe that's why some people call Alaska the last, last great American, American, American wilderness. So this is our Tundra poster by Edmund, Eleanor, Kyle, Xander, and Connor. Uh, the climate is usually about 20 degrees Fahrenheit through negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit in most seasons. The average precipitation is 6 to 10 inches, including melted snow. And uh, this is our this is our chart for the climate precipitation. And alas, and the tundra is all over the north of the world. Okay, so this is my food wrap, and here's the. The grasses to the mud socks, to the mud socks, to the Arctic wolves. Oh, yes. uh, some of
some of the plants are tussock grass, fungi grass, viper's hair bow, and scamman spring green. Some of the animals are pika, arctic duck, elk, arctic wolf, and polar bear. Okay. The tundra is beautiful. So cool that not many people, so not many people live there. The people that do live there study and photograph the tundra's tundra's characters. Batteries from Russia, Europe, and the eastern United States cause pollution in the tundra by winds blowing the pollution there. The British minister that oil mining does to the tundra is oil spilling. The oil depot. Conversation is destroying the tundra. Fun facts. Tundra covers one-tenth of the earth. Birds fly to the tundra to escape the bad weather. The tundra touches eight different kind of countries. Tundra is a Finnish word that means treeless. In the summer days, the sun never sets sometimes. One of the main problems in the tundra is hunting. Some of the animals in the tundra are only in the tundra, and poachers will get paid to kill those animals. Some of the animals are moose, arctic wolf, and arctic fox. If they don't stop killing these animals, they might soon be extinct. Detris. Nothing more than accumulated leaves, roots, and other plant matter. The unassuming detris is rich in carbon, giving it the power to massively increase the effects of global warming should it ever get into the atmosphere. But for now, it mostly lies in dormant, in cold storage in the permanent frost of Siberia, Alaska, and Canada. That's starting to change. According to some scientists, the planet has already begun to warm up as a result of humans pumping billions of tons of carbon into the atmosphere each year. The permafrost is starting to melt, and that bottled up carbon is already leaking into the air in the form of carbon dioxide and methane, powerful greenhouse gases. Oil drilling in the tundra. Drilling for oil in the tundra can neg negatively affect the environment. First, they have to get the oil bags up to the tundra region and it might be destroying the land in the process. And for the people that work there, they need houses to sleep in, roads to get there. By using the oil, air pollution can be caused which could lead to a change of climate. This is how Oil drilling can affect the tundra. One of the main causes of animals being endangered in, this, in the tundra is hunting. Hunt, hunting has endangered animals since the 1900s, which resulted in the eradication in animals like the mux oxen, which still is converted into food earthers. After a long time, government started to realize the problem, which they responded protecting the animals. Another reason is oil drilling. Oil drilling pollutes the water, which can result for some animals to die or suffer from the oil spills. Also, it harms the environment for the tundra. One last reason is pollution. The pollution leads to release of chelobro carbon, which deplete the ozone layer and expose the tundra to harmful ultraviolet rays. That's three things of human impact on the tundra. And that's the tundra.